in Syria, U.S.-backed forces broke through a wall surrounding the old city of Raqqa, a key stronghold for the terrorist group. And in Iraq, the fall of Mosul just days or even hours away. We go now to ABC's Ian Panel, who was on the front lines in that city. Good morning, Ian. Amy, it's been a grueling eight-month slog. But could this be the week that ISIS is finally defeated in Mosul, its center of power in Iraq, for the last three years? U.S. military officials say the militants control less than a square mile, but the Iraqis are calling it. The prime minister has congratulated his troops on victory. This morning, the last gasp of ISIS in Mosul. The fighting has eased. It hasn't stopped. But it's now confined to just a few blocks in the old city. It's taken months to get to this point, and the toll's been terrible. Thousands of people have been killed or injured, and many more have been made homeless. Even though the fighting hasn't stopped, victory is being declared. Prime Minister Abadi congratulated the fighters and the families of Iraq for a big victory, bringing down the false state of ISIS. Parts of Mosul barely look like a city anymore. It'll take years to rebuild and recover here. Thousands of residents have been prisoners in their own homes for months, denied food and water by ISIS. <laughs> Mariam says, I'll never go back home. It's all destroyed, and I'll never forget what ISIS did here. For many, this was the first food, the first clean water they'd had in months. People are emerging shell-shocked and shattered, relieved that this is over, but unsure what the future holds for Iraq and the region. So now the campaign switches westwards, a few ISIS pockets left in Iraq, and then the main thrust against the center of all ISIS power, Raqqa in Syria. Their U.S. forces are already taking on the militants. But overall, the picture this morning is progress on all fronts. George. Boy, that city in Mosul just devastated. Okay, thanks, Ian.